How are you? Good morning. Coffee time, liquid life. Where is it? Look at that mini pancake. There we go. Phoenix eating the mini pancake. Good morning. Tell them good morning, not me. Good morning. There you go. All right, let's get the day started. Breakfast time. Yum, yum. Mm. Coffee time. Yum, yum. <laughs> you want some? <laughs> it's like a polar opposite on a magnet. You want some? You want some? Do you want some? I told Phoenix, it's like, it's sunny outside. So he's like, ooh, it's outside time. Outside time. Outside time, here I come. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just about ready to, to start doing electrical because it was raining like a lot outside. So we're gonna get our jackets on. We're gonna go outside. Aloha Lara posted in the comments today. What, what's the temperature outside? It's like, uh, oh, let's ask the computer. Computer. What's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 13 degrees Celsius. Tonight, expect a low of eight degrees. Brr. It looks wet today. Stay dry out there. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Computer, you're so weird. I like to think I'm a little peculiar. <laughs> what does that mean? She's a little strange. Okay, turn the music back on. Here we go. Let's go outside. Oh my gosh, it's bright out here now. Here you go. There's some rain for you guys. <laughs> I wonder what that looks like. You're welcome. We'll find out later. As long as the camera still works. I just totally got carried away weeding the garden. So, hey, if you guys want to do me a favor and tell me, what is this? These are popping up all over. I don't know what they are. I don't think that I planted them. <laughs> These are, um, well, that's them too. I don't know what this is. It's yellow. I don't know what anything is. I know that these are, I think these are. And these radishes are growing so oh, fast. These are, I already see the red here. I know, those are growing extremely fast. I just got through eating two radishes. Um, I wanted to plant some to replenish. So I planted them like in between and I just did this like, it feels like a couple days ago. Oh, this is weed. That's the one I was talking about. This one right here. I don't know what this is. Anyway, look. They're already coming up. They're already coming up. And look how big these... Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that. That's huge. I want to eat another radish. But the main reason for coming out here is to work on this. So I'm going to eat this and then work on that. Well, let's see what the weather's going to be like. Let's see what it's going to let us do. And I'll try to... Uh, you found a peanut. Oh. Right under the water. Wow, okay. Must have had a squirrel. <laughs> but we're going to see if we can't cut uh, cut a few vent holes. These vents come with a piece of protective cardboard here on the back. What I've done is I've used the uh, combination square to mark off the hole size. And then I've used a, uh, a blade and a straight edge to trim this out. So this is going to be the size of my hole ensuring that I have a place to mount it there and there. And then it also has adequate coverage around the side. And there's the vents right there in the center. So this is the size of my hole. This is my template. This is not a toy. We had a moment of sprinkles, although you'd never know, know it if I didn't mention it. Anyway, we had a moment of sprinkles. <laughs> uh, Phoenix is going to bring the vacuum inside the chicken coop there. And I've already uh, measured my hole. So this is uh, center with the window here. We have the left line, the right line. This is centered here. Got my pilot holes drilled so I can get my uh, saw blade in there like this. And I'm just gonna go around the outside and saw this out. Are you ready? There's a little piece here, I guess I'm ready. Okay. Okay, big piece coming down maybe.
performing some touch-ups. We we're just about done. Phoenix is gonna go get washed up for lunch, right? Yep. Okay. Well, come here, I found my ladybug. Oh, you found a ladybug? Here, after I film this, I'll let you film your ladybug, okay? Okay. All right, so that vent's cut, that one's cut, this I'll, one's cut, and this one's cut. Paint. Huh? I'll catch the paint. You'll catch the paint? I don't, hear. <laughs> okay, go show your ladybug, turn the camera off, let's see. Okay. He's that. He's right there. Right in front of my finger. Right there. Phoenix. What? It's pouring outside, dude. What? It's pouring. What? Look at that. Okay, so uh, catching up on a little bit of Trucker Josh here. What? We're also sitting here watching. <laughs> we're, we're watching, uh, well, we've watched uh, Halloween George. The Halloween Boo Fest, and then uh, this, of course, is uh, a Charlie Brown Halloween. I know you've been watching some of it too. Have you enjoyed it? Oh, really? Do you like Snoopy? Yeah. Wow, it's like water falls off the side of the house. Holy cow! Look at that. What is that all about? Free grass watering. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The gutters. Yeah. I have to go, and I, I have to fix gutters and there's stuff outside this house that needs to be addressed also one thing at a time one thing at a time okay <laughs> your your hood is what? your tuck your hood in or the bag tuck tuck your bag in boy there we go hold on so phoenix and i are going to walk the hill we just got through having dinner and he just got through being chocolate boy again <laughs> so a little uh a little nature, a little bit. See, nature there, nature up there, nature dead, dead nature. All right, Hellions, we are at the end of another day. So, also, I got a little bit of electrical done, not like a lot. I drilled a few holes so that I could run the wire. I seriously, it wasn't much, but it's still a step in the right direction because the last bit of electrical that needs to be done is the lighting circuit. So, I have to run the lighting circuit and then alter what's up there and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so um, first comment of the night was Mr. Brot, I win again. First like too. Excellent, congratulations. Terry Clark, you say, what are some of your advertising methods as just recently opened my business and I am trying to get the word out? Um, originally, uh, Craigslist and Craigslist, family and repeat business and doing a good job and word of mouth that was that's pretty much how I have always advertised um, recently um, I also kind of I don't advertise on Facebook because personally I have okay I have advertised on Facebook but I don't think I've gotten a single job from Facebook I have gotten jobs from Google and I have gotten jobs from Facebook non-paid because I have a business page on Facebook. Um, so also uh, some local groups on Facebook, you might, uh, some of them have like uh, um, places that you can post your personal business, stuff like that. So yeah, uh, that's basically all I do. And personally, that's one reason why I am either really busy or really dead because it takes like three customers and I'm booked and I'm and things are crazy so it doesn't take much because it's just me Whirly Bird Productions when I was in high school in the automotive class we had a wireless scanner that looked like a tablet it was amazing you could see literally everything the vehicle was doing yeah and that's what the scanner does I mean I can see all the data streams I can I, uh, it, it is such a strong tool um, I have bi-directional control so I can make things happen on the car um, it's amazing and I have a lab scope which is imperative for actually checking out sensors to make sure that the sensor is saying what the computer says it says it's saying <laughs> Nicole Flynn you say that you and Phoenix should make a time capsule and open it in 10 years from now oh that would be interesting wouldn't it just in case you're thirsty that would be so frustrating people canceling unannounced yeah um, if it's less than 24 hours and I charge a fee I, I'm just I, because I'm I'm done with people not 
being true to their word. And I mean, I understand that things happen, but unfortunately, that thing has happened to you. It has not happened to me. So I charge a fee. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it did. Aloha, Lara. You never have to justify any purchase to us. Plus, we car folk know how important a scanner is, so congrats on your new one. Having the right diagnostic tools is imperative to being able to diagnose vehicles, and that's what I do for a living. Therefore, it's much more than I think John John 911 said something that my scanner is more than my car or something like that. Well, yeah. <laughs> My scanner also pays for the house and it pays for food and it pays child support and it pays for the bills and it pays for gas and it pays for my information resources and my insurance and my, my business license and yeah, it pays for everything and some people understand that. Uh, Carrie Ann Olson, sorry I haven't been around in a while. I've been busy and a bit depressed. Do you know what I do when I get depressed? I think about it for a little while and then I try to do things that make me not depressed. <laughs> I know, it's easier said than done. I'm just trying to give you some kind of some kind of motivation. Um, I'm going to be moving to a different apartment in a different town, so I have to get ready for that. Oh, wow. And you've got seeds to start growing your own food. It's amazing. It is so amazing growing your own stuff. Ooh, ooh, and, and uh, two blueberries. Since I put the cage on there, the birds haven't been getting the blueberries. Um, so we have two blueberries that I think are ready to eat tomorrow and maybe two strawberries. Uh, Caroline, Canadian trucker gal, it looks moist all right. <laughs> your garden is looking great. That's pretty good road sign reading Phoenix and the what's up and diamonds, emeralds, and gold. He cracks me up. I needed a good laugh today as I'm home recovering from surgery that I had during the week. Wow. I'm hoping you a speedy recovery. Count me in on sending a letter to uh, to get Angie where she belongs with you. Oh. All right, guys. That's it. Thank you so very much for watching. Happy haunting. We will see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's the last day, but, but good news. Guess what? I get Phoenix for Father's Day this year, so we get to see him next weekend, too. So awesome. All right. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Good night. Later. Peace.